Sometimes you need to install some libraries to assist with the Arduino uh, basic code in the IDE. The easiest way is to go to Sketch, include library, and go to Manage Libraries. That will pop up the library manager, which looks like this. And we're looking in this case for some unified libraries from Adafruit. So I'll type Adafruit Unified in the search box to sort of narrow things down. And there's the BMP085 uh, driver that we're looking for for our BMP180 pressure transducer. So if I click on this and say install, it'll go and install it. The other one I need to make sure that I get is down here somewhere, this Adafruit Unified Sensor Library. And version 1.02, yeah, that's the latest version. So I'll install that one too. Now I can close the Library Manager. And if I go and look under File, Examples, down here under Adafruit BMP085 Unified, so that's the one of the libraries I just installed, there's this example program. And sure enough, there's the example. Well, I could try just compiling it and running it right away, see what happens. Compiled, it's uploading. And I turn on the serial monitor, and right away, I'm getting some output on the serial monitor. Now, one thing you're going to have to watch out for is to make sure that you've set your serial monitor to 9600 baud. I did that in advance because I knew that this sample program was pretty slow in terms of its communications. Now, let's have a look at the code and see what it's done. So, first thing in the code, it's including the sensor and the BMP85 library, and it's declaring this thing uh, to interface with the library. And then it's got this function called display sensor details. That looks a lot like this, so that must be the function that printed out all of this information. And then down here in the setup, let's see, it started the serial part and printed that it was a test. It tried to initialize the sensor. And I guess it succeeded because we didn't see that line. And then it called display sensor details. So that was what got us that. Then there's this loop function. And this gives us an idea how to uh, get data from that BMP library. Sensors event, T event. So we're defining an event. And then we ask the BMP to get an event and put it into that variable we already just defined. And then we can look at that event and find out what it says. So, if event pressure, I guess that means if it's not zero, print out the pressure. There's the pressure, and it's 1,002.27 hectopascals. That's 1,002 millibars or 100.227 kilopascals absolute. Then what does it do next? It gets the temperature and prints it out. And then it uses an arbitrary sea level pressure and gets an altitude and prints it out. So it's just exercising the capabilities in the library. So let's see what it's doing. It keeps on going and it keeps getting a really similar pressure. The temperature, 27 degrees. It's pretty warm in here, I guess. And 
it's getting that 90 some meters elevation. So I'm not sure how accurate that is and it seems to be jumping around a little bit. We can check that out. Anyhow, the main objective here was to use the Arduino sketch, include library, manage libraries function to install the libraries that we need in order to use those pressure transducers. And that's something that you, that's an approach that you can use to get just about any library you need to find to install in the Arduino IDE.